Welcome back. Now, People's Theatre will be showing in Madagascar a musical adventure to its audiences at the Joburg Theatre from the 19th of March to the 23rd of April. The beloved animated film follows the story of zoo animals Alex, Marty, Melman and Gloria on a wild adventure as they escape from their home in New York's Central Park Zoo and find themselves on an unexpected journey. Nonchantla Nonim Konto plays Gloria, the hippo, and she joins us this morning to share more on her role and the play. Noni, great chatting to you. Hi. Good to see you again. Thank you so much yeah, for joining us. Thank Welcome. Thank you for having me once again. Nyang Tanda like her. Right, yes. right. It's always an absolute pleasure having you. You know yeah, this, right? Thank you. Now, share a bit more on how you decided to retell one of your favorite childhood stories. Say that again, sorry. Just uh, talk to us about how you decided to retell one of your favorite childhood stories. Um, you mean this, this story that we're doing? Yes, yes. Um, yo, Madagascar, hey? Mm. Um, so I've probably seen the movie, like, the first one. I haven't watched all of the sequels. Okay. Of, um, but I think this, this one is based on the first Madagascar. Mm. Um, but the difference with this one is that it's a musical and it's not, um, like set on the movie just itself yes. so it's very jam-packed with song choreography um which you won't find in the movie so that's why oh, okay. it is a okay. musical because then it is jam-packed with just song after song after song on the adventures of the animals trying to find you know Marty, who play who is the zebra mm -hmm. um and he goes off on his adventure so we okay. tell the story um through song okay. and dance Let's talk about Gloria. I mean, yeah. what kind of animal is Gloria? <laughs> Gloria is a hippo. Uh -huh. Okay, but she's like a feisty hippo. She's a bit like got her head in the clouds sometimes, yes. um, is how I've decided to um, play Gloria. But she's got a bit of like spice. Um, she's a dancer, hippo, mm -hmm. because in the, in, the, in the production I wear a tutu. <laughs> But only when we get to Madagascar, okay. <laughs> not when we're in New York. When we're in New York, um, I'm wearing uh, leg warmers. So that okay. kind of gives you an idea that she's a dancing hippo. Mm, um, mm. But yeah, she's kind of like also just the mother of the boys because it's, she's the only um, girl. Mm. So amongst the four of them. Mm -hmm. So she, you know, she gives the soft loving. She gives the like, oh my gosh, let's do this. Let's go look for him. Let's, let's keep it together. Okay. Yeah. I'm quite curious to know how this particular character develops in the story. Um, well, you know, she, she goes from being uh, comfortable. So all of them are comfortable. Okay. Gloria is also very comfortable within the zoo life that they live in New York. Mm. And Marty is the one that kind of just goes, guys, it's my birthday. I'm a zebra. I'm 10 years old. It's a decade. I'm almost close to... You know, right. and um, I just want to do something with my life. And so I think Gloria supports him because she's always up for an adventure. Mm -hmm. She's always up for the adventure. So she kind of gets um, more confident in herself. Um, she is more driven, mm -hmm. you know, with all this adventure that Marty puts them through, um, learning more about humans and then finding themselves in Madagascar and seeing other animals living a zooless life, if I can say it like that. Like they don't live in cages, in but they cages, like right, right. out in the open on an island and they just live their lives, mm -hmm. you know? So that's kind of like how she develops. You know, Gloria, oh, Gloria, annoying. <laughs> it's okay. I get it all the time. I'm sure we've you got, get it all the we've time, got right? kids in the show. We've got kids in the show and they're like, Gloria. And I'm like, my name's Noni, but it's fine. <laughs> no. You know, Noni, this is a production. I mean, it's one of those that's filled with the uh, color music yes. dance. So mm. which are some of the favorite songs that are included? In hey, this so there's one song which is in the movie. Move it. I like to move it, move oh, yes, it. I that like one. to yes. So uh -huh, uh -huh, if you uh -huh. didn't know, now you know what we're talking about. Okay. Yes, we're talking about Madagascar, which mm -hmm. has that very famous song. Um and then there's uh Best Friends. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's a that's a beautiful, beautiful song because mm -hmm. Madagascar mm -hmm. is about friendship. It's about staying together, it's about helping each other, it's about um if you want, if you're going through something, I'm going through that with you, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. so that's what Madagascar is about. And so that song, um, I like to move it, move it is one of the most popular songs and of the, cause it's in the movie and it's in the musical. Uh -huh. Um, but the other songs within the musical are not in the movie because the movie is not a musical. If okay, you know what yes, I mean? yes, because you, you know, you get you. animation that is musical in the movie, mm -hmm. but Madagascar is not, it doesn't have those songs. It only has those songs in the 
music, yeah, musical yeah. that we put on stage. And I wonder though if it won't compromise, you know, the storyline or the quality because uh, because of certain omissions in the movie. Oh, and yes, it, yeah, of course. Does it not? Yeah, no, no, not at all. I mean, some. I mean, the kids kind of go, wait a minute. You've jumped so much, you know, right. because we're trying to compress some things. Right, I, right. The show is an hour and about 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to give the kids that whole adventure from New York Zoo to Madagascar and then them kind of making their way back, you know, because okay. then the movies has sequels where they kind of don't go back. They keep yes, going, yes, yes. you know. So it, it um, there are parts of the, of the movie that um, are not in the the musical as yeah, yeah. is tradition as well you know mm, um mm. like you know you watch a lot of other movies and then they turn them into musicals but not everything is there but nothing is compromised yes, yes. nothing at all is compromised from the music from when we start it's showtime up until the end together forever all the whole that that whole music line just gives every and I'm sure it's adventure. so captivating that oh, they wouldn't even notice that there's certain it, omissions. It's a lot. It's, it's like a lot, right? We're sing, we're sing talking. <laughs> right, right. We're singing from the beginning. We're singing all the way to the end. Uh -huh. um, and it's very interactive. So I don't think you really have the time to be like, wait a minute. Yeah, something, something is missing. Yeah, yeah. something's mm, missing. Mm. It really takes you on the adventure like how you would if you were watching the movie. Mm. Mm. And as much as people may look at it as, you know, fiction, but... Uh, it is a reflection of real life stories. I mean, yes. real life issues. I mean, yes. there's, there's issues of uh, hopes, dreams, caring and respect. Yes. So how are these themes explored in this production? Um, you've got, you've got um, Alex, who's the lion. Like if I, if I can make an example of him, lions are feared, right? Mm. But these mm. four friends, the hippo, who is Gloria, Malman, who is the giraffe, Mardi, yeah. who is the zebra, and Alex, the lion, they are not, as, they are not afraid of each other because mm -hmm. they are zoo animals, right? But as soon as they get to Madagascar, it's kind of like, everyone's like on the island, this is a lion. Like, what is happening? Or they break out in, they break out in, um, in New York and, you know, Alex is kind of like, oh, wow, talking like with a roar to the humans, obviously, but... Obviously, you wouldn't, we wouldn't do that in the movie. In the movie, he's talking yeah, yeah. to the humans. But, you know, people fear lions. But, um, and he's just like, but I love people. I'm always mm, giving you guys a show mm. when you come and watch me at the zoo. But now that I'm not in the cage, you're kind of like scared of me, you know. And then he learns that um, he's actually, like, then he, it hits him that he's actually a lion and he's actually a predator. And at some point in the movie as well, he bites Mm. the bottom of the zebra you know and it's kind of like what are you doing so now the other animal starts getting scared and um it's like oh my gosh you really want to eat us because you're hungry and you know he's been served steak his whole life mm. you know and mm. now he's with his friends out in the open no one's feeding him so now he's hungry so what he's gonna do he's a lion yeah, yeah. you know so then he runs off and marty also runs off and it's a whole now it's gloria the hippo and malman the the giraffe who are looking for these two like where are they going where are they let's find them and then eventually there's just like this understanding to be like you know what let's just go back to our habitat mm. what we know and be fed and just live the way we used to live and but like with all of that that happened with the alex the lion biting trying attempting to bite the zebra because now he's hungry um there's still that i understand and i do accept your apology but you're still my friend right so there's all yeah so there's all of that it's like forgiveness you know love okay. Um, okay. encouragement, um, support, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know, and not judging someone for who they naturally are mm -hmm. when push comes to shove in life where, um, I don't know, you know, sometimes people get angry and they say yes, things, yes. you know, or they act out of character, but it doesn't mean that that person is what they are in that moment. In that moment. So it's kind True. of like that. It's like True. Alex is not uh, like a greedy, murderous lion. He's mm. just really hungry and you know, his friends just start looking like steak, but he doesn't mean <laughs> to eat them. He's a lion, <laughs> you know, but then they understand you know, and they're like, we forgive you for it all. Let's just get it back together and let's go right. back. Let's go back to what we know and just live the life that we know. So it's kind you of know, like Noni, I quite like your narration skills. You know, you've literally <laughs> taken me to the theater. I can just picture whatever is happening there. Thanks, yay. <laughs> <laughs> because I feel like I'm sitting at the front row yeah, and I'm of just the theatre. Giving you this <laughs> <laughs> performance already. And why is this, uh, you know, the ideal production to watch with the entire family? Um, because it because it appeals to both adults and kids, yes, right? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, 
um, I know people have like a misconception about children's theatre where they think, oh, it's for children. Yeah. But if you do come and watch a children's theatre as an adult, mm. the script is actually, you know, understood more by the adults because there's, languages, there's language that's used that adults will understand. Kids will catch on to it. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. you know, adults will kind of, you know, they'll get the nuances and all of that and everything. Um, for kids, it's more the visual, it's more the costumes, it's more the music. Even for the adults as well, like sometimes you look at adults and they are gone, lost. Mm. They have forgotten mm. that I gotta pay the bills, I gotta put petrol, <laughs> there's Tell no me shedding. About it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you kind of forget. So it's, it's, a, it's a goodie for everybody because, sure. um, it, you, you know, theatre does this. Theatre kind of, stories are written to teach people. Mm. Stories mm. are written to get people back into their minds about, like how I say, it's about forgiveness, right? Mm. It's mm. about friendship. It's about togetherness. It's about um, family, whether it's your blood family or not, but you go about life adopting people yeah. and you adopt family, you know, outside of your family. Mm. So that's what it is. It's, it's ba basically like we're different animals, you know, sure. but we are together forever and we're together in this and we're going to make it, you know. So Oof. I think that's what you learn from coming to watch Madagascar. It's friendship. It's fun. It's loving. It's and vibey, I love and the vibe. Yes, I love it's the a vibe. vibe. It's a vibe. Do. It's a vibe. You know, my technical director is fighting with me to <laughs> okay. read the interview. Right. I'm sorry, <laughs> <laughs> but it's been great chatting to you. Right? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much you for so joining much. us. Well, the People's Theatre presents Madagascar, a musical adventure to Joe's audiences at the Joburg Theatre from the 19th of March until the 23rd of April. We just spoke to one of the stars, Nonim Konto.